Welcome back to a another painting video. Today we are going to be painting Captain America. And you may be asking yourself, why why is he silver? Um, because like we're, like I think I said this in the Sentinel videos, is that we're pen, we're painting a whole bunch of people, the ten man unit to all be painted like Sentinels, to be like the Sentinels took over the world and they've created their own Avengers to kind of replace the old Avengers. Um, so we're gonna be doing our Sentinel paint scheme for uh, quite a, for seven more characters because we already have the three Sentinels. And we're just gonna kind of go through it. I uh, hope you guys like it. And then, you know, if you just wanna paint Captain America normal, you can just kind of put the colors where you think they go. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's start off. Well, so if we did a black primer and then we did a, a airbrush spray of Shining Silver over the top of it. Um, that's gonna give it this light thing that we can use our contrast paints over. So like our things, we're gonna start with our purples, which is this Sigvald Burgundy. It's the color that we chose to use for the, what's this? Oh, this goes over here. I was like, what is that? This is our purpley color for our guys. And we're just gonna kind of figure this out as we go along. So I think what we can do here is there's some lines on Captain America's clothes here. And we want to preserve some of the silver on it. So let's just kind of slowly take our time here. Do our best brush strokes that we can do here. And get the pocket it's fine I think for the I think we're still gonna paint the belts and stuff brown like their actual materials you know like the sentinels we'll say the sentinels couldn't reproduce um that type of material <laughs> I don't know Okay, so we'll put the purple there. We'll leave his, the little line on his crotch. It helps to have a nice pointy brush for this step. pocket and then follow the line here and then get around the around the knee pad there and it kind of tucks into there. So there's the purple pants. There's not a whole lot of purple on these guys, so just keep that in mind when you're going through it. Um, also, we're gonna do some purple on the chest here, on the the lines in here. So just pick out some of the stripes and turn them purple as well. Remember it's every other one. If you can see them. Like that. see here too. Uh, that looks good. Oh, it's mostly like that kind of area. Oh, I see how these work. Well, let's then, let's fill that then, I guess. Here, let's fill this 
and it goes to like a little point in there of being You can see the you can see the um, other side of the piece that we left. The silver. Okay, so this is like the silver on the insides now, and then we can kind of try to get in here. There we go. Okay, and then for the arms, this one's actually easy because it's just this under piece right here that we will paint the purple. And look for like little areas, like little candidates to leave the silver color like under the arm right here we'll probably leave the silver like it's a, the joint and then same thing for this arm just kind of get in there And you can kind of see like a delineation of the line right there. And that's where I'm kind of leaving the silver on the arm. Okay, and then the helmet will also be purple. What I did, I, I also took the star off his shoulder. I didn't take the A off his head. Um, that was too much. Let's try to preserve the silver on the A as much as possible and on the wings on his helmet. So it's gonna be a little tight here. It's kind of getting around the, the ear. Trying my best here to preserve the things that are there. Let's find the wing on this side. Do the same thing, just kind of light touch with the, the paintbrush here. Try to avoid the ear as much as possible. Okay, and we get the A here. Be careful around it, doing your best. Using the point of your brush. And then under the eyes. And the chin strap. is a lot more detailed than we usually get. So, it's a lot more detailed than I usually try to do too. So, you guys are You guys are seeing me do this firsthand while I'm trying. Okay, it wasn't a total disaster. Just get some more nose coverage here. And then over the eye as well. His face looks weird because it's spilled in, but 
It's okay. It's okay. Now we go for the shield. It's going to be purple on the first ring. Where the red goes, let's, let's, let's kind of see it that way. We're just ignoring the back right now because that's pretty much just gonna it's gonna stay silver. Shaky hands coming out. Okay, <laughs> that's the best we can get that ring, and then we get the next one. Just try your best to anchor your hand. Always go through and paint with the silver after to kind of clean it up. We'll have to clean it up after the fact, but that's it for the purple. Okay, and now we go to the blue, which is our Celestium blue. And for this, we can be a little bit more generous in these areas. So let's get the knee pads. I want to kind of go like this. Get the foot. And we're gonna kind of, I guess, get like the little straps on the back of the shoes here. And up here, we'll fill the rest of that in. Right there. Because we want to preserve some of that silver to make it look like it's a robot, right? Because nothing says robot like silver paint. So do the same thing on this foot. And we're doing what we did on the sentinels and we're just working our way up the sentinel. Just being careful in those areas that we don't want to hit. I mean, this is one way to practice your brush control. It's just paint on a smaller model, the same paint scheme that you've done, and then see if you can get it where you want it. Okay, so that's the bottom. Now let's get the vest here. We're going to be kind of preserving some of it. So here, let's just paint all of this blue. We're gonna leave those little shoulder straps silver. And 
I think it goes to this line right here where the blue is. The rest of it is the back part. So let's just clean up the back here while we're here. Maybe I'll leave the pouches silver. I don't know. Maybe we'll leave it and we'll see what you guys say in the comments and then we can adjust based on that. Leave. Leave that because I remember the backs. We had like that spine going up them and we left it. So let's go here. We're going to Avoid the star, because that's going to be our, like, reactor that runs these boys. So the idea is that the Sentinels took over the world, and in order to help the people not fear them as much, they created Sentinels that resembled the heroes that they knew, so that they would be more likely to trust them. This is my little lore for them. We're leaving that next silver. Okay. Now we got the shoulder pads here. Remember, we're going to keep that little back area silver, so just be aware when you're working around there to not get that spot. And then the whole hand. shoulder pad here. Okay, and then inside here. We put our blue. Ooh, shaking. Pardon me for a bit while I get this. And then we get the face, and that is going to be using the skeleton horde. And we'll leave some of the face silver. Um, but we want to kind of get that, that sentinel mask look. Actually, here, let's go with the shiny silver really quick and get clean up some of that area that we need to put this paint on because like we said the, the face was a little was a little funky in there so we want to just kind of clean it up in there like that i think that's good Okay, and then since we have it, let's clean those little edges that we messed up on the shield here. Whew, they're shaky. Some of these spots are hard to 
kind of get on. It's good. It's round enough. <laughs> Oh, no, we're doing skeleton hoard. Why would I put this away? Okay, so then we take the skeleton hoard paint here. And we want to fill in, like, the nose and, like, some of the mouth area. So, we'll just fill in the whole mouth area here. Okay. On the ears, we can leave silver. Actually, you know, that's too much silver, like just like hanging out there. Because the wings, we left silver as well. So let's get the ears with this as well. With the skeleton hoard. Okay. And we can go over to the eyes, which are red, of course. And we'll get our little teeny brush because it's a little teeny area. And we get our. Blood Angel's red, and we try our best to keep it in there. So, go to where the eyes are, put the red in, maybe when it dries like dot some white in there so that it Shows up better. I think while we're here, there's some purple that we can clean up with the burgundy really quick with this little brush on the face. Some areas that aren't painted well. Okay. So now we take our black wash and we get over all the top of the um, the metallics, the little the silvers that we have left. So we get gnome oil here. Oh wait, yeah, we can do this now. Okay. So get some gnome oil on a brush here, and then. Probably not, uh, not this brush. This brush is too big. <laughs> Let's go with this one. How's this one looking? Oh, this one's looking good. So get our non-oil here and then just get all that detail to pop out. On the Metallics and all the pouches and stuff that he's got on him. These little middle areas here. Little back areas in there. The backs of the shoes. His rocket boots. The butt. I think leaving these silver was the, the choice. Oops, we didn't paint that arm. Why didn't you guys tell me that? You guys are here and you're just watching me make mistakes like this. You're supposed to be like, hey, you missed the spot there. You missed the whole arm. Okay, so let's fix that really quick. Let's get the blue. Get our brush here. And I forgot I was too worried about getting the shield done instead of just worrying about getting him painted. Here we go. Okay, now we go back to the black. 
you get this little band here just to darken it. And then the underside of the shield as well. Okay, and then we have the wings on the sides here, as well as the A. And then the final touch, we get our uh, orange somewhere, 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 here we go, the Griffhound orange for the little reactors that we're doing here. And then we'll paint that over the star. And paint it over this star as well. And then we'll take some yellow contrast paint, the end in yellow, and just kind of blend it into here. So it's got like that shiny glowy effect get that and then just kind of focus towards the middle here and that is how we paint sentinel captain america uh, captain america sentinel of liberty <laughs> um yeah, he turned out pretty cool. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and we'll see you guys on the next one.